Welcome back. Let's keep going with some more string methods. Now we've learned about adding and removing ones. We learned about append, insert, and extend. And then in removing, we learned about pop, remove, and clear. There's a few other important ones. Let's go with the index. So instead of clearing here, let's clean this up. And we'll do basket dot index. And index, as you can see, we give it a value, a start and a stop. What does that mean? Well, we want to say, hey, what index is number two? If we do index of two and I click run, it's going to give me one. I know this is a little confusing, but it's asking for the index. Where is number two? Number two is at index of one. Let's change these into letters just so it's more clear. So we have A, B, C, D, and then finally E. And again, if I do D here and I click run, I get an index of three because zero, one, two, three. It's on shelf three in our memory. And you can also do a optional parameter here, which is where should we start looking? So I want you to start looking at index of zero and then finish looking at index of two. If I do run here, I get an error. It says, hey, D is not in list because well, we started at index of zero and stopped at index of two. If I do three and I click run, no, it stops right before three. So if I do four and I click run, there you go, I get three. Now, errors are not good in our programs. Ideally, we don't want to get errors. So how can we avoid this? What if we're looking for something and we're not sure if it's in the list or not? There's another nifty way of looking for things in a list. And this involves what we call a Python keyword. A keyword is something that you use in Python that, well, already has some meaning. For example, a keyword here, if I go to Python keywords, are all these words that already mean something. Now we're going to go through them and we haven't seen a lot of them yet, but you, we might have seen true, right? In Boolean values, true means something. So in Python, we can't really use the word true because, well, it already means something. There's a word called in, that as you can see, as soon as we type, means something is a keyword in Python. And this is quite nice. We can say, hey, is D in basket? And if I run this, I get true. Okay, is X in basket? I get false because, well, it doesn't exist. And this is actually quite useful, and we can even do it for strings. For example, if I'm looking for, let's say, the letter I in a word, and let's say it's I in, hi, my name is Ian. If I click run, I get true, because the letter I does exist in this string. All right, let's learn another one. Another one is basket dot count. And we can count how many times an item occurs. So for example, if I do D and I click run, I get one because D only exists once in the list. But if I add another D in here and I click run, we get two. It counts how many times this value occurs in our list. Very, very useful. All right, a few more still to go. Let's do some exercises and I'll see you in the next one.